Hi guys, Dino Dwarf 97 here, and today we're gonna make a greenhouse so protect your your crops and environment problems like uh if you're in a snow a snow biome, all kinds of biomes you could use this method to basically f you know work a greenhouse. With that greenhouse, you can have as much crops in as big as you want. But today I don't have much time, so a little time to you know stay on this and yeah, do something else. Anyhow, so yeah, today we're going to be making a greenhouse. Ready? And let's do this. So yes, guys, I am in the middle of the rain, walk, running around here. But yes, this is perfect timing because now I can make a big, you know, place. It's awesome. With this, you can make a whole bunch of stuff. Well, you'll need seeds and food stuff that you can plant, like um, potatoes and seeds, obviously. Then you got like pumpkin seeds, all that. You're gonna need a hoe, yeah, a wooden hoe, a diamond, whatever. These things you can actually use. You can even use like wood ones. So yeah, and then same with the shovel. It's pretty awesome. And I got some extra sleeves up my up my sleeves. I mean, things up my sleeve sorry and today I'm gonna show you those things because they are pretty cool they're on the game obviously and I just I basically just saw one of them on the screen yeah traps to protect your base so anywho grab the stuff you exactly need all the stuff oh you can turn into like some kind of like cool thing because uh, a while ago, I actually made a uh, underground base, and I dug all the way up to the top, put glass there, and made my own little underground uh, greenhouse, which was pretty cool. Anywho, so what you're going to do now is you're going to take the glass, like you need area, you're going to take glass, form a little like, house, kind of. That is what basically I'm about to show you, because, well, you know... You guys want a decent, you know, greenhouse that actually works, right? So, yeah, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of cool stuff, like planting crops and all that. Not really fun, but they turn out fun because when your hunger gauge is low and it's like, oh, no, what do I do? You know, you go to your greenhouse and it's like, yay, I have food. So, yeah, best idea ever. So, basically... I accidentally just dug a whole bunch into the dirt. So I'm going to have to legitly, you know, fix that. Some green stuff. Okay. Fixing that up. There. Right, so yes, you're gonna need a whole thing of like glass. Like I'm pretty sure it's like almost a full stack of glass right in this area right here. Then to make it even more bigger, we're gonna do that. Basically, if you make it bigger, it looks more presentable, and it really looks it really looks good so far. Sorry, my glasses, like, are all fo fogging up over here or whatever. But anyways, we are going to make our perfect greenhouse. Yay. But, yeah, if you hear no, like, sounds in the background, it's because I got my headphones on. So I don't have one of those fancy headphones you can actually talk through. Yet, that is. I hope I get one soon because it would help my videos. So, yeah. Also, you guys, if you ever seen, like, a greenhouse in real life, it's normally just glass, you know what I'm saying? I've only seen that it about once. And that is legitly on a whole thing I've been, you know, studying and stuff. And when I went to school, 
Like, turns out, uh, I forget some of fuels for greenhouse or something like that. So, yeah, guys, we're going to make the best, you know, thing. But thing is, uh, I'm going to need to make a door after I'm done with this. Because how are you going to get in if you don't have a door? And how are you going to protect your crops if, you know, mobs can easily spawn and go right into your base? It's pretty easy for them to do that. So, here we go. There. The greenhouse is complete. Yeah. I'm a bit loopy right now. Around this time I'd probably, you know, sleeping or something like that, but anywho, we're gonna cover up the bit the top that will make a you know, place of the rain and snow. If you know, if you were doing this in a snow biome, you'd actually have a lot of snow, and it would just ruin basically all your crop crops. So you don't want that to happen. I'm showing you guys a way to keep it going. Passed down from generation. And that is awesome because hopefully people make bigger and better greenhouses than this one. Maybe in maybe in a update or something like that. Yeah, last one. Hold on, guys. There. All right, guys. So next is. Like I said, the door. Yes, the door. Oh no, I broke the glass. <laughs> Sorry guys. Had the camera lens show up close to my face. But anywho, perfect. This one will do good. So basically what you want to do is you cut like a straight, like you take away a straight line. And when you do that, you can actually pull it, like, block it. Like, watch. That way, you can basically make sure they go in different ways. Anywho, now it's time for the shovel. It's boring, I know. But once you actually play for yourself, you got a nice place to stay. Because when, well, I know schools run for kids, but who doesn't, you know, like a school after school activity, play a little video games? My mother always let me, you know, wind up playing like video games before freaking uh doing my homework and it was just chaotic. I'd call I'd go to the school and it's like, oh no, I forgot my homework and it's like that that lie always used to work like kinda work. But yeah. Knowing how I said saying the dog ate my paper, I said my cat was laying in my homework. Would be the perfect thing because it actually does happen. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's really funny though. It's like my cat was laying in my homework. My cat tore up my homework. It used to work because I, I have four cats, so... Uh, not really something. Looks like one of I hear one of the, like the background of my you know room like legitly. I don't know which one that is because I legitly have four cats. I really have four cats. Yeah, it's a bit much. 
But yeah. Hold on. I hate when that happens. Like, you, you like put the water in, and it's like, oh no, we're not gonna be kept here. So yeah. I'm feeling that. So then, last step. Extremely last step. The diamond hoe. I need to use this to basically help put the uh, whole freaking plants in, like the um, seeds and stuff. It's messed up. Because think about it. Don't you wish like you could do all this just with one like tool? That'd be awesome. And actually, basically, a fight with it. Like, imagine if like it'd be cool. If, like, the, um, the hoe was actually a scythe, and it's, like, it'd be awesome because, legitly, you're running around, like, hunting mobs with, with scythes, scythes and stuff. That's pretty awesome. So, today, I am going to place regular seeds, carrots, and potatoes. And that should do it. Not yet, though. Potatoes. Carrots. Wheat. Carrots. And potatoes. Alright, there. And then the last one. The last ones. And here's the finishing touch. Let's go over there. Chest trap this. It's pretty clever. So yeah, it's pretty clever because like you put like a Fake chest inside, like, or whatever it does. Like, you put it right next to the whole thing. It's like, oh, there, the trap, the redstone should be right there. So, you place the trap. And then... Get the door. Redstone. Reds, that's about it. All right. Door. And then this. And all you need to do is. And the door's supposed to open. Oh, there we go. But yeah. It's pretty clever. So, anywho, I gotta get some sleep. So you guys, see you back, see you again. We basically all you need to do is comment down below, um, hit, a, leave a like, and like I said, I'll do something crazy in Minecraft. I'll blow up my other downloaded house. But yes, all right. For now, oh wait, even better. I'll light my house and the woods around me on fire. All right, guys, ready, and I'm out. All right, L hit that subscribe button, and click that little bell, and become part of the notification squad. And with that, guys, I'm out.